basketball is my favorite sport. Personally, I love it when they run up and down the court. But when I got the opportunity to combine my love for basketball with my passion for camping, well, it's not anything that I could pass up. Outside of Wales, where I grew up, the southwest is my favorite part of the country, and Lyme Regis is a perfect example of why. The historic coastal town sits on the border between Devon and Dorset and has acted as a port thanks to the Cobb, which has been a trade harbour for Lyme. But it's faced some tumultuous times during its 700 years history. It's a world-renowned curved breakwater jetty that is Grade 1 listed and originally built on Portland stone with a cobbled walkway built on top. Walking out to the edge offers views of the Atlantic Ocean and a stunning view of Lyme Regis itself. The town centre, like many along the south coast, is a cool hub for arts, crafts and coastal culture. Think boating, bodyboarding, surfing and its land-based cousin, skateboarding. Lime Regis Skate Park was opened in 2016 and sees a range of abilities use the facilities each year for free. You can also indulge in local food and drink, with a particularly tasty option being Lime Regis Brewing Company. It produces a number of brews in tribute to local attractions such as Cobb Bitter, Town Mill as a nod to where the brewery is based and Dorset Pearl owing to Lyme Regis being known as the Pearl of Dorset. First one has got to be the Marianne, it's the fossils and that it brings all the kids down here. All right, excuse the car parking charges, we don't do much about that, but for the price of the money, bringing the people down here, getting to know the, the, the areas, the beaches, the fossils, just the lifestyle it used to be, it's unchanged in you know, history itself. Uh, as much as I know back, going back a long time, so yeah, there's photos around which is really nice to say and see what it used to be and it hasn't changed much, you know, uh, I hope it doesn't. The town offers plenty of local music hubs and has featured in books and films such as 2020's Ammonite, starring Kate Winslet and Saoirse Ronan. The movie tied into the most impressive element of Lyme history is known as being in the heart of the Jurassic Coast. And the area is practically a walking museum to history we can't even begin to contemplate around 200 million years ago. Winslet played Mary Anning, who was a legendary fossil finder who scoured the coast and beaches for fossils, and the town pays homage to the paleontologists. You can even see ammonites still embedded in the pavement on Chippel Bay and in rocks like this. All this presents a stunning backdrop to the real reason we travel south. So we're going to travel about 10 miles east of here. This summer tournament is in a great location, and if you'd prefer to stay at a club site, Charleth is nearby. But there are plenty of 3x3 tournaments all over the country this summer. This is my eighth year, so we started, uh, our first year was down a little local recreation ground. Um, it was just really to give some local teams um, something to do in the summer because there was nothing there. Yeah. Um, and I, I felt like three on three was not recognised enough. So we started to bring that in a little bit. We had eight teams, it was a nice day. All eight teams said, are you gonna do it again next year? <laughs> and then more teams built and it just went from there. And, and we just uh, just uh, gradually grew uh, sort of comfortably, I'd say. Yeah. But got to a stage that I didn't quite know we were gonna get to. I've been pretty outspoken with the fact that I think Bayport's probably the best trophy tournament in the country. Just with the element of community, everyone's happy, everyone's, you know, in the same place for 48 hours. So everyone has to get along whether they really like it or not. Everyone's really nice, the organising, the organising is great, you know, they have options for outdoors and other things and I think the best part about it is the is the camping, you know, everyone's just, you know, there to have a good time, let their hair down, everyone's friends, we just have a great time, stay up late and just have a wait of a time. What's better is you can watch a more traditional five-on-five -five basketball in the autumn to the spring, such as the Men's British Basketball League and the Women's British Basketball League. They are great family-friendly events that offer sporting entertainment and many put on half-time shows. There are professional teams all over England, such as Scotland and Wales, and you can take up the sport from any age with amateur leagues run by governing bodies such as Basketball England, Basketball Wales, Basketball Scotland and Basketball Northern Ireland. So next time you're looking for something fun to do while on a camping trip, keep your eyes open because they're playing basketball and we love that basketball.